We are coming now to the most successful directors, also most active directors, and we have uh, the column director where we can see uh, the uh, director for each and every movie. For instance, uh, for Toy Story 1, it's uh, John Lasseter. And we can also get uh, the total number of uh, movies uh, for each and every director with the value counts. And let's have a look at uh, the 20 most active directors. So number one is uh, John Ford with uh, 66 movies. And of course, we can also visualize uh, this uh, with a bar plot. So we have here the list uh, with uh, the 20 most active directors. And uh, then we create a bar plot. So let's have a look here. Next, we can also get uh, the most uh, productive director in terms of uh, total revenue. And also here we can use uh, the group by method and uh, split uh, DF in uh, several data frames. So one data frame for each and every director. And then we calculate uh, the total revenue for each and every director. And now let's get uh, the 20 most uh, productive directors in terms of revenue. And it's uh, Steven Spielberg, then uh, Peter Jackson, Michael Bay, and so on. And also here we can uh, create a bar plot. And finally, let's have a look at uh, movie quality. So again, we split uh, DF uh, by the director. And uh, first of all, we aggregate and uh, count the number of movies. And uh, furthermore, we get the average rating and uh, the total number of uh, votes or ratings. So let's uh, create uh, the aggregated data frame directors with uh, the number of movies, uh, the average rating and uh, the total number of ratings. And now let's assume that we want to get uh, the directors with uh, the highest average rating. And also here it makes sense uh, to add uh, some additional filters. And we only take into account uh, those directors uh, that have at least uh, 10,000 votes or 10,000 ratings. And uh, that directors that have at least uh, 10 movies. And uh, then we sort uh, those directors uh, that uh, meet uh, both conditions uh, by vote average and uh, we display the 20 directors actually with uh, the highest average rating. And here we have Hayao Miyazaki, uh, Christopher Nolan, Quentin Tarantino and so on. So far, we didn't care about movie genres, but typically directors focus on one, two or three genres. So they do not cover all genres. And uh, now in the next step, we could also analyze the directors by genres. So for instance, we could select the most successful horror directors in terms of uh, total revenue. So we can create here a filter and first of all, search for all movies uh, where we have horror in uh, the column genre. And uh, we have to be careful here. So we have missing values in the column genre. And either we uh, remove those missing values or we just uh, convert all elements, also NANs uh, to a string. So this is a hands-on approach here. And then the next step, first of all, we filter DF for all horror movies. So let's have a look here. In total, we have um, 4,600 horror movies. And uh, then we group uh, those horror movies uh, by the director and get uh, the total revenue for each and every horror director. And finally, we select uh, the 20 most successful directors in terms of uh, total revenue. Here are the most productive horror directors uh, with uh, Paul Anderson, James uh, Wan and uh, Wes Craven. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, see you also in the next lectures. Bye.